Hello everyone, this is Waldorf. And this is Statler. And what are we talking about today? Today we were asked by Lord Tremendous. And when the Lord Tremendous asks you something, you do it. <laughs> exactly, because he's, he's a Lord. <laughs> and he's tremendous. And he's tremendous. <laughs> <laughs> I've never met that guy, I want to meet him in yeah. person time. <laughs> the, um, yeah, he'd sent us uh, internal communication, to, well not just to us, but to all of the content team on the Ninth Age. And... Uh, ask us to take a look at a couple of uh, Indiegogo campaigns that were going on. And yep. specifically, um, TMS has two of them going on. Uh, one for the Kingdom of Equitaine, which we have the page up right now, and another one for characters. So we thought we'd just uh, go ahead and, and post the information on our channel for uh, those people that are on our channel that may be interested in looking at alternate figures mm -hmm. to fill out or start an army mm -hmm. um, and didn't see the posting someplace else. Exactly, and I was... Because I was fairly disappointed that the uh, the Force Goblin one didn't yes they did succeed four. yep e even though uh, I don't need another couple hundred Force Goblins <laughs> which I so priced in for so it saved you some money it did and some a ton of aggravation right so the first one we're going to look at is the Kingdom of Equitaine and, and as of from, today it's only got a few days left so by the time we post this tomorrow it's going to have you're going to have to jump on it if you see this video yeah so if you're looking and you're keeping up and you want some stuff you better go fast yes um, and uh, table. this is uh, Tabletop Miniature Solutions this right. is the one TMS. on these um, you can see they've got a bunch of the deals on the right and they, and they the, range from like 10 oil to about what was it 950 there's like a, yeah there's a 950 <laughs> yeah something like that yeah down at the bottom and you know of course the percentage of what you're saving goes up the higher you buy it right so we've got a, a duke on a hippogriff right. duke o hippogriff Dipple hippogriff i think that's supposed to be on <laughs> <laughs> duke <laughs> that's, that's oh pretty, pretty, that's pretty hippogriff funny. yes <laughs> uh, might be a slight typo there could be or maybe that's going to be the version 1.3 name for the uh could be. um so that's actual picture of a model which is the only one i think in this line that you can correct. see that um yeah would have been better if they would have kind of turned it a little bit to get a better view of it or but yeah but it's nice but it's probably up here in the video if you watch the video yeah yeah which we haven't <laughs> the, which we haven't but it's crazy. that's a nice model because if you didn't have one of the old gw ones there really mm -hmm. isn't anything else out there. There's Correct. some scrawny looking hippogriffs from some companies you could put a guy on. Right. But so this is that's a nice little niche to fill mm -hmm. in. Um, and a noble on a Pegasus. Mm -hmm. It's gonna put some barding on there. Same thing. There's not that many models of uh, Pegasi out right. there. The, and then of course the GW an armored one. Yeah, or hard to find with any kind of barding and any, anything. Correct. Although I did get one from somebody. I forgot who it was myself. <laughs> the, oh really? Okay. Yeah. I'm working on that now. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Paladin. A Paladin, one on foot. It looks like you get a pack. Uh, and just so everything's already been unlocked, um, yes. but mm, yeah, one time, each. Yeah, time is short. Um, you get a foot guy and a mounted guy. Not mm -hmm. that you need too many foot guys, but. Uh, yep. That's one of the options. Right. And he's got the grail on his head. Yeah, I wonder if they. This, the, well, the one guy has a grail. The other guy, do they all have grails? Yes, all three have grails. Um, and they don't say anything about additional poses. That's yeah. too bad because a lot of people don't want to. You could snip you it can, off fairly yeah. easy, I think, from what. It's yeah, doing. but you'd hate to do that because you can only have one grail character in the army. Right. Yeah. Uh, and then the damsel. Then we have a damsel mounted on mm -hmm. on a unicorn. Uh, unicorn with an odd pose. Yeah, it's, like it's kicking or something, and one on foot. Mm hmm. So no damsel on a horse. Now I guess in theory, you just chop off the horn. And... Chop off the horn, and your damsel's on a horse. <laughs> I actually have one of those. Oh, okay. <laughs> so, not from this company, but the right. old GW model. <laughs> the um... Castellan. Um, yeah, I'm not sure. I'm liking uh, this one. I, I, I'm not a big fan of the uh, the heavily barded horse thing. Yeah, I'm, I'm not a fan of the just whole odd raggedy look. A little bulk, bulky guy. I, I don't mind the guys on foot being raggedy, but I think the the main Castellan guy would be a little better dressed. Yeah, he does <laughs> have to talk to the big guys. Exactly. <laughs> uh, uh, peg knights. Peg, peg knights and had some barding on them also. Yeah. Three three models. Three different poses, looks like. Now I'm curious. So you can get one or three knights, but it's showing the guy. So the one thing about these drawings, because they're not doing mock-ups, so you're, you actually are taking a lot on faith. Correct. <laughs> so you are. You're basing it on what that hippogriff looks like. Yes. Um, and I guess their previous models that they've done before 
to, sure. to see the quality of what they're exactly, doing. Exactly, exactly. Um, the other question, I guess, I'm assuming the one, if when you choose one, once the models are actually released, you'll choose which mob pose you want. Uh, I don't know if you can assume um, that. Unless it's just a one here, yeah. random. Yeah, I, 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 wouldn't, I wouldn't assume that. No, okay. Then we have the Knight's Aspirant, mm -hmm. and uh, the, they're equal opportunity light Knight's Aspirant because mm -hmm. somebody has some chesticles. They do? <laughs> yes. I've noticed they seem to do a female in each of the packs. With what I've yeah, seen. I noticed that too. Not not a fan of that. No. <laughs> so, yeah. I don't believe, I believe... Uh, they're an integrated army. army. Yeah, I don't... I don't view Kingdom of Aquitaine as integrated. <laughs> I agree. Well, you know, you're going off the Kingdom. You're going off Bretonia, not Kingdom I'm go of Aquitaine. I'm going off of... of, uh, of uh, Arthurian legend. Arthurian legend and basic well. chivalry, where women are to be protected and, and abused. <laughs> they're not supposed to fight. <laughs> you yes. know, they're supposed to be subjugated. No one is supposed to abuse them except for you. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> um, <laughs> so, Knights of the... Let's move on to the Knights of the Realm. The Knights of the Realm, like? yeah. Okay. Um, so five, and, and the other thing that's also kind of actually not five in a pack for thirty-five isn't isn't no terrible. No, and the other thing that actually that's really cheap. Mm -hmm. That's actually really cheap. It is. Yeah, it's a good price. Seven oil each. That's about uh, eight and nine dollars. Nine dollars. Yeah, yeah. Right now, for a mounted figure. Yeah, that's actually really good. Yeah. Well, uh, what I was trying to say is like. the what's not clear yet is command options. Yes. Uh, it does say include options for a full command. Yeah. yeah. Never mind. It is clear. You don't know what they look it's like. It's clear if you read. Yes. If you don't read, it's not that clear. It's a problem really you on a computer screen. And <laughs> we're not used to doing that. Yeah. It was not chiseled on a stone. <laughs> <laughs> so. Not on stone tablets. Exactly. Cuneiform or... Yeah. Does that, is that the right? Anyway. The Knights uh, of Knights the Quest. Knights of the Quest. And... Uh, yeah. see they, they are looking a bit more fancy. As yep. They, they and they, got, the they got the big sword and yet another gal. Mm-hmm. Um, Not like the gal. The, even the shields are seem to be more decorative than these. Yeah, look, well, all of them kind of have that kind of look. Now these look. Well, like, I mean, when you go to the Grail, they go to. Those even, shields are rather odd looking, but uh, I actually kind of like them. Yeah, kind of a fan of those. And there's a lot of flowing stuff. There's a lot the of stuff going on there, and there's another chick. And the, <laughs> so, one out of two is the chick. Yes. Okay. The problem here is, or it's you get five of them. There's no option for one, is there? There's no option for one. On this one? No, there's not. Well, so if you want units of six or seven? Yeah, you got a problem. And for Grail Knights, you the max you can have is eight. <laughs> so, oh, so no matter what, you're I guess you're gonna, you have to turn one of them to a character is what you end up doing. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> or you take the guy with the banner, and he's optional whether you take a banner or not. Uh, Grail Knights, one we should not take a banner. <laughs> uh, just saying. I guess you could make a second banner if they give you the option. <laughs> the, and and here we have the Green Knight. The Green Knight. Uh, Terrible rules, but <laughs> terrible rules. Still, my favorite thing in the army. Not a real clear, good picture of what they're doing with this. Well, that's true of all these because they're all drawings. Yes, because it's a drawing. Like, it's like a rearing horse. And, yep. Yeah. Uh, moving on. Then we've got peasant uh, levy. Oh, oh, we got both. Oh, so I guess they're separate. I'm not sure. No. Because you get the bowman, you got the levy. Peasant bowman, five all different peasants with bowman. Oh yeah, there's state. two separate kits. I'm just using the same picture. Ah, okay, got it. Yeah, understood. I wonder if we're going to use some of the same similar things. We got the piper guy. Yep. That's kind of interesting. That's different. Playing, playing his flute. Yep. Was the rats to go with him? <laughs> you know, <laughs> that would be kind of neat to throw into a vermin swarm army. I have finally got, and I have it for my, of course, my uh, vampire counts army. I finally found a pied piper. Did you really? Figure, yes. And I'm right put there's it with, one right there. Yeah. Well, mine's actually got the proper hat and oh, the feather. Okay. <laughs> you got to have the feather. It's just not right. He's got a feather. feather. He does have a feather, yeah. See? Yeah. But it's like a, it's like, like a, a sock hat. you got to have like a, you know, really a dandy kind of uh, brimmed hat, <laughs> you know, with the side turned up. All right, enough of your Pied Piper talk. <laughs> yes. But we do, this guy should be in the front of every rat swarm. Yes, he should be. In the vermin. <laughs> exactly. Uh, anyway, moving on. We have the uh, Peasant Crusaders. Peasant Crusaders. Um, these look okay. Um, I'm okay with these. Yeah, but and they I wonder have, if the, you get the dog. But they have halberds. They don't mention the dog down here. I don't remember them having halberds as an option. Well, okay. with have, addition, hand weapon, halberd, and shield. You have additional hand weapon, you have shield as halberd. I don't, I don't remember halberd being an option for these. I know that For the Crusaders? I've been looked, I only would only play them with the hand weapon and shield, so right. but I don't remember them having a halberd option, yeah. And the Crusader crossbows. And the crossbows, which is you know now with version 1.2, a uh, 
unit you can take. Mm. Yeoman Outriders. Riders I like. I don't like the idea of bartered horses on them. No, I always look at these guys are the ones without the bartered horse. And I notice that the poor people, they don't have their women fight, only the rich people. That's a good point. <laughs> yeah. You have to be rich to fight. Exactly. Oh, the knight's forlorn, though. We're back to the There's women. another chick. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and they always have their helmet off. They do. <laughs> we have to paint them with eyeshadow <laughs> and lipstick. Because <laughs> it's, it's not important to fight good. It's important to look good. Apparently, they're not afraid of taking head wounds like the knights obviously, are. Obviously not. <laughs> um, <laughs> the, the sacred reliquary. No chicks. <laughs> They look very right. angry. Well, they're yes. kind of peasant guys. Yeah, I'm not sure what they're carrying. It looks kind of like a, a mm. pillow with a whole bunch of uh, cups and things. <laughs> okay, let's move on. Yeah. Let's not abuse that. Um, <laughs> and we have the scorpion. Yeah, they have a, with a little ballista thing going on. Not yes, a, interesting. Not a lot of scorpion models out there. Yeah. In 28s, to, at least. We have to go to historicals and get 25s, Correct. but yeah. Uh, Kingdom of Echo, the trebuchet. Yeah, this is, I'd like to see what it looks Trim like bucket. to get an idea of the size of it. Yeah. I like a very large size. Yes, trebuchet. I know. Yours are humongous. <laughs> you just need a 120 millimeter round. They do. On. They yeah. do. That's cheap. It's fairly cheap for what it is. Yep. Yeah. It fits a decent size. Yeah. yeah. I'm real curious. I'm hoping the men are not to scale. Yeah. That's uh, all I'm saying. Yep. Yep. That, is, that was one thing about GW. They did later on come out with really good size war machines. They did. Other companies just don't do. All right. And we have this. And then we have the mystery stretch goals, which is still locked. Okay. So there's right. a couple days left to meet the stretch goals of whatever they are. We'll be relieved with the unlocking of reliquary. I'm yes. not sure what that means, but anyway. It's okay. unlocked, so they're relieved. I guess reliquary is the last model in the series, correct. so that's probably what the deal is. So that was the Equitane stuff. Mm -hmm. So if somebody's looking for something different. Jump on it quick. Yeah, jump on it quick. Because it's going away. Yep. In addition, we have the Hidden Dreams, the Lords and Heroes. Yes. This is just kind of a mixed bag of a lot of stuff. Yes. Um, and there's a full month left on this one. Right. Plenty uh, of time. Plenty of time. And you can go with individual guys here, which is pretty good, or clusters mm -hmm. also. So, um, I'm just looking at some so of these here, things over here to the right. Right. Those are the um, individuals. Yeah. So, so this one is an actual... Uh, uh, this one's already out, isn't it? Yeah, but this is a CG of a Sylvan Elf uh, character on foot. Mm -hmm. I guess it's probably a, a shapeshifter because he's got like the funny feet and everything going on. Now uh, the cloven hooves. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Hmm. I prefer funny feet. <laughs> um, cloven hooves are for, you, for beast herds. You get a couple options of feet, too. You get two feet op foot options. Oh, you get bear feet and horse feet. <laughs> there you go. And this not quite actual bear feet. <laughs> look like bear feet. I, I once, uh, but they're not bay. I, I once had a girlfriend that had the, <laughs> you, slippers that looked like yeah. that. Oh, okay. As long yeah. as they were slippers, yeah. it's going to say their get, feet. Yeah, you're get, in trouble. Get a couple heads. It looks like okay. oh, three head. Oh, no, two heads. The other ones will hold head. He's holding two heads. Yeah, correct. A couple of some different weapons different options. Weapons options. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's an inter interesting model. It's an interesting kit. Mm -hmm. I'm not real sure what these feet are. Yeah, like bare feet to me. I'm going with bare feet. B e a r or b a r e? As in bear. <laughs> bear. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> a ba, if you prefer. A ba, and this is a picture of the actual model, the finished model. Yes. Um, and then it's a painted, painted version, version of it. Yeah. And we scroll down. We have little icons, and then here's a. CG view of uh, Vermin Hulk. Vermin. Oh, it's oh, a the, Hulk. It's the body heart guy, guard guy. So you yes. Know, for you, it's the war litter guy. Whatever right, they right. Call that. Um, okay. Yeah. That's a good size good, model. It's a good size model, especially yeah. if you're doing a vermin swarm. Yep. And great. something that's, you don't have a lot of options. This mm -hmm. is a shaman. I think it. <laughs> problem is. Is this an orc? I'm assuming it's an orc, but. Not real clear from that picture, but, is it? Yeah, because I can't imagine what else it would be. I mean, it looks more like a lizard man, but there's no such thing as a Thorian ancient shaman. Right. So. Could it be like a beast man shaman, maybe? Um, it doesn't have any fur on it. That's a good point. So, I mean, I guess you could paint it up that way. It's just Yeah, it's just, it's unclear. I guess you could always do I a. I guess you, could, you have an option. If you like the model, you can make it a couple things. Yeah. Yeah. I guess you could go chaos with it if you wanted to. 
easily. Mm, I suppose you could. Just some weird chaos mutated thing. Yeah, know? he's got scaly skin. Yeah, you can do yeah. that. That's true. Anyway. Uh, dwarven king on the throne. These are the uh, hungry dwarves. <laughs> These are the dwarves. <laughs> They're very hungry. <laughs> These are the dwarves that have been under siege been for on, a very long they've time. Been, they've been on Jenny Craig. <laughs> they want to be spelt for the next battle. <laughs> Before they came out to battle, they had to redo their armor to <laughs> exactly. send it up. Well, they had to lose weight so they could fit yes. into the armor. It's a, it's a different concept for dwarves. It I mean, definitely it, is. It could be that they are that they go that way with their entire dwarven line. Yeah, when, could be. When they expand it. They're just small humans. But they're very, uh, they're very much svelte. thinner than, yes. much thinner and less bulky than normal. Um, um, than makes dwarves. me think Oompa Loompa. <laughs> Oompa Loompa dwarves. <laughs> yes. That's a big axe, though. It is a big axe. So, anyway. Dwarves and... Well, it's a big axe head. <laughs> Quaddle Lord. Quaddle Lord. So they're going with the alligator effect. That's mm -hmm. that's kind of a neat. That's a neat look. It's different if you want to if you want to go with it. It's if you're, it's, I mean, some people aren't real thrilled with the frog leaving the the crocodile the the sure. lizards, and I guess now you get a crocodile leaving your lizard. Yeah, because it also opens up um, the crocodile models from either um, ah, crocodile games. Crocodile games or from uh, Worm Hordes because they have crocodile. So they have a crocodile race. Now. Yeah, so there's. I mean, I can I can see how that could open up some other lines to give you alternatives mm -hmm. uh, for lizard men. I mean, there are different companies that have different kinds of lizard figures, but uh, yeah, that's and a of good course, GW point. still has theirs. But uh, yeah, I didn't think about that. That does yeah. open up the other possibilities, yeah, does it? Yeah. I mean, you could still do it with your frog guy, but it just, sure, sure. Yeah, anyway. The throne's pretty neat, and the yes. crocodile uh, games figures are actually very nice figures. They. So. And a Scourge of Wrath Demon Prince. Yes. Okay, that's a big sword. He's got a big uh, cleaving weapon. I wouldn't, oh, I, didn't call notice it, this I wouldn't call it a sword. They saw these painted. Oh, yeah. But well, you don't know what they look like. You don't. <laughs> they spray painted black. <laughs> <laughs> Congratulations. Yeah. We sprayed it. We sprayed it for we you. We primed it for you. <laughs> you know, yeah. We only tripled the price for you. Exactly. I'm sorry. I'm sure they're not doing that. Uh, Sounds funny. I though. didn't say they sprayed it. They used a roller. Oh, <laughs> so, oh. yeah. <laughs> oh, I'm glad these, these guys are going to be real happy you reviewed these. <laughs> yeah. But no, yeah. that's, that's kind of it. I, I, it's a neat looking model. Yes, it is. Uh, anyway. Um, and there's and it's got a look at three weapons it's got options, weapon options and some kind of shield. Hands. Oh yeah, yeah, That's yeah, which is kind of interesting. And you can see the base size here, which is pretty cool. Yep. Yeah. And some skulls and stuff. Yeah, all yeah. Around his you get your stuff on the. That's really nice. I like that. Yeah, it's a nice. Yeah. Nice piece. Um, this Duke I see. Knight. He looks more uh, EOS to me than he looks Kingdom of Equitane. It's the plainness of the barding on this. I think. Well, it's just a CG. I'm assuming they're Correct. not quite done right. with the uh, with the horse yet. Right. I would hope so. Yeah. But the rider is, he just got, to me, I, I think more EOS for this guy. But, mm -hmm. uh, um, you know, a, a raised horse is always a neat thing to have. Mm -hmm. It is. I've got yeah. that one that um, I had. Yeah, which is a conversion. But, conversion, uh, but... yeah. And you and have Lord this... of Fighting. I'm guessing Chaos. Um, Warriors of Dark Gods, excuse me. I'm sorry, Warriors yeah. of Dark Gods. <laughs> um, he does have a slightly orky face, though. <laughs> if you want to look at it. Anyway. I mean, just because he's, got, he's got a beard. That's what it is? Okay. Yes. It's the fangs is what I'm seeing. Uh, it's the I teeth. Th I th oh, is it the teeth? I thought it was just the uh, hair on the... It's hard to tell in this picture. Yeah, but... no, I'm seeing it from here. Yeah, uh, maybe. maybe it is. Anyway, who knows? But yeah, it's... I mean, because that's one thing if you want to do a... Um, if you're doing the... Uh, what do you call the guys... Uh, the, they're not marauders. They're something else now. The okay. regular guys, not the wasteland the, warriors. The wasteland, yeah, but not the, uh, yeah, just those guys. Getting barbarians. those barbarians. Barbarians, there you go. There you go. Getting those kinds of characters, yeah, mm -hmm. you know. Kind of like the cloak on this guy, though. I like how it flows back. Yep, it's going to be Probably tough to won't tough rank, to won't tough rank to up easily, up, but it? yeah. <laughs> but anyway, you have to put a filler behind him probably. Yep. But yeah, and there's a picture back going through. Oh, this one here, not this, this one. This, this next guy. One. Yeah. This looks very interesting. I can imagine this one is going to do well uh, because there really aren't any good stag options. Mm -hmm. um, you had the old GW one, which is no longer available and was kind of ugly. Okay. Um, you can, I guess, in theory, use the uh, Warma Herds guys. Uh, I forgot what the name of the uh, the clan was. They're all on, those, on the okay. armored deer, but they're kind of small. This this is a really big uh, stag looking model. 
It is, although its antlers should be as big as those ones in like the uh, Lord of the Rings movie. Yeah, there is and longer in the cross. Yeah, you know that just stretch out to like forever six inches. You need to be able to hold at least ten orcs. Yeah, correct. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, but somebody looking for you know options for a stag, that's a that's a fantastic thing. Yeah. Oh, and this is the it's one not cheap. Kind of the status of what they're sold so far. Yeah. Oh, this is the size it does. Yeah, that. when they do the five of one, it looks like they do an alternate. <clears throat> looks like they do some kind of alternative model. Right. So they do a B version. Oh, that's interesting. Every for if once they get five packs sold. Yeah. That's which is kinda interesting. Just gives you a little bit of variety, it sounds like. Right. And this is Oh, this is guys that are gonna be coming out with. You can also buy some miniatures from Silver Elf Road Campaign. Oh, okay. Oh, no, no, this is the old oh, Sylvan Elf campaign. Looks like they're re Oh yeah, some that's of right. Oh yeah, because they had that they here. closed it. Yeah, so you can get those guys at a discount. Still, so another chance to get uh, some of their models for Sylvan Elves. Oh, okay, nice. And they were pretty nice looking. Um, Lord on a great elk. Yeah. Hmm. All right. Well, there you go. That's the uh, Indiegogo campaigns we were looking at from um, the uh, Tabletop Miniature Solutions. And uh, a lot of stuff looks really good on it there. It does. I mean, setting our little friendly banter aside, you know, so. Exactly. The, uh, it's good to see companies coming out with stuff to support Ninth Age. Although they look a little more bulky in here. Yeah, may just be. Uh, Did they stretch that? <laughs> they may have stretched the picture. Did they the stretch the picture a bit, that maybe? Could, that could be it. Because they do look different here. Right? Yeah. Well, it's a challenge. It's a CG version also. You don't, you're not actually seeing the actual guy. Right. Yeah. Okay. So they could have stretched it. Uh, it actually kind of looks like it's stretched. It does look like it's stretched, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, okay. it does. Yeah, they should fix that picture. Yeah. 